Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Thursday morning where it is not fun out there at all. Now, still a winter storm warning in uh, northeast Kansas, Republic County, Kansas, the only county in the local four viewing area included. Eastern Nebraska was downgraded to a winter weather advisory. Now, winter storm warning in Republic County, Kansas goes till midnight tonight. Otherwise, all the winter storm or winter weather advisories, excuse me, that we have around our area are in effect either until this evening or early tomorrow morning depending on where you live but basically the big threat now the snow is done falling so now blowing snow is the main threat due to continued strong winds then of course of course bitterly cold air combined with those strong winds dangerously cold wind chills right now we've got wind chill uh, warnings that are in place until saturday at noon right now as of the time i'm recording this wind chills in most spots are in the 30s and 40s below it is dangerously cold out there so as we look at your future cast for today the snow or the wind continues to blow the snow is gone but blowing snow still a bit of an issue out there reduced visibility some drifting of snow partly cloudy skies dangerously cold wind chills tonight skies clear up the winds remain blustery so the wind chills still very very cold maybe some minor issues still with some blowing snow out there and then for tomorrow still a little bit of minute a little bit of blowing snow the wind's still blustery still very very cold out there although a little warmer but still very very cold and a lot more sunshine out there. Then we'll see increasing clouds Friday night and Saturday morning. Winds will finally start to die down, other than maybe far eastern Nebraska. The winds should be lighter for most of us heading into your Christmas Eve morning. Here's your future wind chill map. Again, right now we've got 30s and 40s below, and even a few spots off to the west are in the 50s below this morning, and it's only going to get a little bit better today. Most of us will keep our wind chill values in the 30s and 40s below throughout the day today. That is dangerously cold. If you have to be out, make sure you are covered up. I know a lot of people are going to want to get out and shovel the driveways, shovel the sidewalks. If you are, you've got to spend smaller amounts of time outside and be covered up. Gloves, hats are a requirement. Uh, make sure you get as much of your skin covered up as possible because exposure to these kind of wind chills is very, very dangerous. Hypothermia and frostbite can set in very quickly. Tonight, still very cold with those wind chills. They'll improve a little bit tomorrow and into tomorrow night, but still pretty cold. By Saturday, they're starting to get out of that dangerous category, but still bitterly cold air in place. Actual temperatures. Highs today only in the single digits below zero maybe near zero to the south may not even get into the single digits below zero off to the northwest so very very cold air in place today tonight five to fifteen below for most of us a little colder in the panhandle back above zero tomorrow for most of us other than maybe the far north maybe even some lower teens so it's an improvement but still very cold especially factoring the winds another very cold night into your christmas eve morning below zero and then you see those Highs on Saturday improving a little more out there as we see high temperatures. Still single digits up north, but most of us into the teens and lower 20s with warmer air out towards the west. So we'll continue to see these improvements heading through the holiday weekend. Christmas Eve, chilly still, but not as much wind. Christmas Eve night, if you have plans, as a lot of you do, to either go to gatherings, you have maybe Christmas Eve services, church services, still going to be very cold out there. One below for a low. Christmas Day, it's better. It is going to be a mostly cloudy day, though, and breezy as well. And by the afternoon, there is going to be a slight chance of a little bit of a light wintry mix, and that could last into uh, Christmas Eve night or Christmas Day night and into Monday morning, maybe a little snow out there. And that's also going to come with a cold front, so that kind of holds temperatures in place on Monday, so not any warmer for Monday, really. Also, a little bit of wind with that. It will be there will be a couple of breezy days there as well. Now, at the most part, I'm looking at this as maybe minimal impacts due to the wintry weather here, uh, if we even see it. I'm only going a 20% chance right now, so I don't see any major impacts, but again, maybe some minor impacts to travel due to a little bit of that light wintry precipitation. Beyond Monday, much nicer weather is going to start to build in. Milder temperatures Tuesday, and look at that Wednesday, almost 50 degrees. It is going to get much better. Real quick, I want to show you here, we're going to fast forward all the way to Sunday. This is Christmas Day right there. Increasing cloud cover, and then here comes that light wintry mix. Sunday afternoon into Sunday night, maybe lingering a little snow into Monday morning. It looks fairly minimal, not a major issue, but may have some minor impacts. That's the European model. Maybe another system late next week with mostly the rain, actually, with that one. We'll keep an eye on that one down the road. Here's the GFS model, which actually doesn't have much here. Let's go back to Sunday right here. There's Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. Doesn't show much. So that's why I'm just going a 20% chance right now. Not anticipating too much of an impact, maybe some moisture late next week, we'll see. All right, let's get to the long range temperature forecast because this one has a lot more good news in it than uh, a lot of these other 
uh, graphics I've been showing you here. Still very bad news the next couple of days with the bitterly cold air that's going to be in place here still, but we do see an increase in temperatures, nice little incline, and by next Tuesday we're back above average and we will stay that way all the way through New Year's Eve, which is next Saturday. Temperatures in the 40s with uh, maybe near 50, so highs will be looking pretty good out there. So a nice little warming trend on the way here. I'll show you this real quick. There's the cold in place right now. Here comes the warming trend. Kind of halting on Sunday and Monday, and then here comes the big warm trend next week. Much nicer weather. Maybe cooling down towards the end of next week just a little bit by New Year's Day. So, All right, well, with that, I'm going to let you all go. I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Thursday morning. I'll see you all again on Friday. Until then, take care, stay safe, and God bless. Bye.